illustration number 4 which is related to the figure given in your textbook figure number 1.6 in which different forces are acting on a lamina body which is of two dimensional see the two dimensions given here are as x and y also we have to calculate the linear acceleration of the center of mass of the body it is clearly seen from the figure that the origin is the center of mass and the mass of the lumina body or lamina body is given as 2 kg so first of all I am writing the given force of the figure the first force is given as 8 Newton but we know the force is a vector quantity and I can write this force in terms of vector quantity see this is in the negative x direction so its x component is minus 8 and there is no direction in y no force is acting in the y direction so its y component is 0 and the unit of force is Newton Similarly, force F2 is given by 4 Newton in the xy direction. So, this 4 is the magnitude and the angle is given as is 60 degree. So, I can write down the vector component as magnitude cos and magnitude sine for x and y component. So, here magnitude is 4 cos for x component and angle is given 60 degree similarly y component 4 sin 60 degree therefore my force f2 will be 4 into 1 by 2 and this 4 into root 3 by 2 and the unit is Newton but we can more simplify this 2 2 root 3 Newton and therefore my third type of force F3 which you can see from the figure the F3 force has magnitude of 6 Newton and the angle is given 45 degree so 6 cos 45 degree 6 sin 45 degree as we know both cos and sin are having same values at 45 degree but here if you remember the direction is in the negative sign so the angle will be in the negative and the quadrant this is the first second third and fourth in the first quadrant all functions are having the positive value in the second quadrant only sine function has positive value and cosec function has positive value in the third quadrant only tan and cot function are having the positive value and in the fourth quadrant cosine and sec function are having the positive value so here only the cos function will have the positive value and wherever the sine function comes it is having the negative value so I am putting the negative sign over here so my answer for this particular force force F3 will be 6 upon root 2 because cos 45 is having the value 1 upon root 2 and here minus 6 upon root 2 the unit of force is Newton similarly you try for force F4 I am directly writing this value 5 and 5 root 3 Newton because this is an exercise for you you should try by yourself
Now, if we move further, then the value of or the equation which we have studied in the center of mass of a system and Newton's law of motion, I can write it as m a c m vector is equals to the total force or resultant force F. But here there are four different kinds of force that are acting on the lamina body. So this is F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4. And M is equals to 2 kg is given to us. So what I am doing? ACM is equals to 1 by 2 F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4. Because this 2 was in multiplier, but I have put it in the denominator, so that I can easily get concentration on acceleration. Now, 1 by 2, what is the value of force F1? The force F1 was having the value of minus 8, 0. Plus, the value of force F2 is 2 and 2 root 3. Plus, the value of F3 was 6 upon root 2 minus 6 upon root 2. And finally, the fourth F4 is having the value 5, 5 root 3. So, this is the vector type of addition and I can directly add the x component and y component simultaneously. Therefore, my acceleration of center of mass of the system will be therefore ACM is equals to 1 by 2. First of all, I am adding only x component. So, minus 8 plus 2 plus 6 upon root 2 plus 5 and the other y components are 2 root 3 minus 6 upon root 2 plus 5 root 3 and here the box is 4. So, if you simplify this equation, then acceleration of center of mass of the system will be 1 by 2 minus 1 plus 6 upon root 2 and here the y components are coming in the form of 7 root 3 minus 6 upon root 2 meter per second square. So, this is the final answer of your illustration number 4. Now, for which we have started this chapter, that theory we will start in the next article 1.4, Law of Conservation of Linear Momentum. Illustration number 5, a bomb of mass 50 kg moving uniformly with a velocity of 5 meter per second explodes spontaneously. So, this is just the recollection of the illustration what we have discussed in the theory of law of conservation of linear momentum. So, this explodes into two fragments. So, one fragment is having mass 30 kg and the other fragment is having mass 20 kg. Suppose the velocity of smaller fragment is 0, then we have to calculate the velocity of larger fragment. So, we will solve this equation. First of all, the bomb is moving with uniform velocity. Then, 
the external force acting on it will be zero. So this is most important parameter. And if the force acting on it is zero, then we know one more thing that the initial momentum is equal to the final momentum. Here I have written the momentum word only, but you have to consider that this momentum is nothing but the linear momentum. Therefore, the total mass into velocity is equal to the mass of the first fragment into the velocity of the first fragment plus mass of the second fragment into the velocity of second fragment. Now, first of all, let me make a data that which are the things available for me. So, first of all, M is the total mass of the bomb. So, this is equal to 50 kg. Similarly, the mass of the first fragment of bomb is 30 kg. The mass of the second fragment of the bomb is 20 kg. So, by naturally, the second fragment is the smaller fragment. Now, the velocity of bomb which is given to us is 5 meter per second. Here the figures are changed because of the textbook. Now the velocity of the smaller fragment is 0 then we have to find out the velocity of the larger fragment. Therefore V2 over here is the Therefore, the velocity of the smaller fragment means V2 is equal to 0. And hence, my equation will be mv is equal to m1 v1. Now, I have the known quantities over here except of v1. So, this is m upon m1 into v is equals to 50 upon 30 into the velocity is given by 5. So, 5, 6, 30. So, 50 divided by 6 is equals to 8.33 meter per second. So, this is the velocity of the larger fragment. Now we will solve one illustration number 6 which is same related to the explosion here. 